What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Miguel and we back, bro. So today, what I got for you guys is some light. It's a part two of my how to catch and throw lobs video. You feel me? This is for 2K21 now, so you guys know I'm gonna explain it down even slower, more simpler, more simply, or whatever it's called. I'm gonna slow it down for you guys so you guys can really understand, you know, how to do this method. It's the same method as 2K20, you know. To gain rap so you guys want to make a pure slash and take a chance of you know missing all the time or you know if you're good enough you can do that but like i said it's the same method so all you have to do is throw alley oops and stuff like that so we'll get into this right quick in a minute brother but if you guys are new to the channel all i'm gonna need you guys to do is drop a like and drop a sub but it doesn't hurt to show support you feel me and let's get it man all right, at this part of the video, I'm gonna need you guys to listen very carefully. Those, that's the main thing in this part right here. Now, I showed you guys that clip because that is one possession where you could have thrown the alley oop, and I still would have caught it. But you don't need to run. We had a running stance to throw alley oops. Y'all need to listen very carefully to be able to do successful alley oops. We need Lob City finisher, at least gold. You feel me? At least gold. That's what you guys need for sure. At least gold lob city finisher. Also, you kind of need like an 85 driving dunk to get like the packages. Now, what you guys seen in the last clip right there, that was the next position where he could have thrown it, bro. On this one right here. This is the next one, bro. To finish an alley-oop, you need to hold square. For your teammate to pass an alley-oop, he needs to double tap triangle. It's that easy, bro. Double tap, double tap triangle to pass for an alley oop, bro. Hold square to finish an alley oop. It's that easy. It's not hard at all, bro. So for you guys who do an instant recap, all you have to do, your teammate has to double tap triangle for him to throw the alley oop. You need an 85 driving dunk, possibly. If if not, then it gives you more chance of hitting the dunk, bro. It's that simple. And yeah, bro, just hold extra, hold square to finish the alley oop, and you should be good, bro. Now I'm gonna give you guys a situation where my teammate should have passed the ball, or he should have alley ooped it, bro. Like it's dead simple. You could do the same method like my old video in 2K20. It's basically the same thing you guys can do again. You feel me? You can even pass out of it and all, bro. It doesn't, it doesn't even matter, bro. Like that. Like I said, bro, I'm going to show you guys again, and I'm going to repeat it very slowly for you guys. If you want to do this on the tools, when my teammate comes up to me, all he has to do, you know, glitch a player in like that and double tap triangle, bro. What you, what the person who, who is trying to finish the alley has to do now is hold square, bro. That's it. You don't have to do anything more than that. If you have an 85 driving dunk with alley oops, you should be hitting, you should be dunking, you know, all of them, bro. Like, dead ass, all of them. If not, then you shouldn't be dunking all of them. That's pretty simple. That's it. You feel me? It's nothing more to that. And I guarantee you, bro, this is the best rep method what, are, what people are doing right now, bro. So if you guys do this right now, you're going to rank up hella fast. You feel me? You're gonna, you know you're going to excel, bro. You're just going to get it up there very fast. So if you guys like the video... I'll get some more clips streaming for you guys and all. If you guys need me to, we spend your boy and guess money. And we yo, man. Peace.